the death of PCVR. To be honest, that phrase hits pretty hard, but whether it's true and whether it's actually happening is exactly what we are going to talk about today. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't see a comment somewhere that says that PCVR is dead, whether it's in my comments section or whether it's some form of an article saying that the quest is the new king and that is the platform everyone should be focusing on. Well, I don't necessarily agree. I certainly don't agree that PCVR is dead. Whether I agree about the fact that everybody should be focusing on the quest is a different story. It's no secret that the Quest and Quest 2 are the best selling virtual reality headsets ever. Full stop. We have never had this many users in VR. Whether you like Facebook or you don't, the amount of headsets they have sold and the amount of people they have brought into VR is beyond anything that has happened before. So I'm not surprised that developers might want to be developing for Quest instead of developing for PC VR. Not everybody has access to a high-end PC and most people are going to be playing standalone Quest. Or are they? Let me show you something. I did a poll on our Discord, where currently we are creating a VR chat world for us to chill in, to just have meetups in and stuff like that, and I asked how many people here on our Discord, there's like 10,000 members on there, no flex, play VR chat on PC VR or on Quest, and PC VR won. So what's up with that? I did a poll on YouTube saying, hey, this is a statement, you either agree or you disagree. The Oculus Quest 2 has become as much of a PC VR headset as it has a standalone. Yes, one. What's up with that? Now, in that statement, the phrasing may not have been exactly correct. What I meant by that phrase is the fact that a lot of people are buying the Quest to use it as a PC VR headset, not necessarily a standalone. There's no denying the fact that the Oculus Quest 2 has insane specs for its price, and I will talk about this more in my extensive review, which I will be doing for its one year anniversary. It has 120 hertz, near 4K panel. It's completely wireless. What else could you want? Well, except for no Facebook, probably, and possibly better comfort out of the box, but that part can be changed. Not the Facebook part, the comfort. Maybe the Facebook part sometime in the future. So is PC VR dead? Well, it certainly seems like it. With all the games coming out for Quest, a lot of people are saying this is not good at all. Games on Quest are of course not as high fidelity, the graphics have to be turned down a lot, and people are losing out on the things they could be having if these titles, instead of coming out for Quest, were coming out for PC VR. People are not happy about that. There is limitations we have to adhere to right now in the 21st century when it comes to playing standalone. Standalone is nowhere near as powerful as PC, at least for now, maybe sometime in the future with some incredible chips and power that we have not yet invented. However, for now, these limitations have to stay in place. And I feel like most people mean that by the death of PC VR. All these games, all these titles are coming out for standalone. And because they're coming out for standalone, the graphics are highly decreased. So even if there is a version coming out for PC VR, well, the graphics aren't usually turned up. And games like, for example, Job Simulator, Vacation Simulator, titles like that don't need to be turned down. Those are very good titles, at least for myself. I really enjoyed playing them, but the graphics in them are extremely basic and people don't like that. People remember the days back in the past where games on PC VR would look like Robo Recall, would look like Lone Echo, and they want more titles like that. I completely did not mention Half-Life Alex. Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, to people. It seems that PC VR has stalled and instead we have switched to developing for the Quest. And because of the quest limitations of power, we've kind of stalled entirely. Or at least that's what it seems like those people are saying to me. Whether I completely agree with that is a different story. I certainly don't think PC VR is dead. Those polls I showed you should speak for themselves. The fact that most people on VR chat are playing on PC VR, the fact that PC VR is still the only platform that is going to be getting any AAA titles with graphics that look like they look like. The fact that Lone Echo 2 is coming out for PC VR and not for the Quest is something, well, that I don't think would have gotten unnoticed if it came out for the Quest. People would not have been happy about that. Lone Echo being such a beautiful game. And while Oculus did say that this is probably their last PC VR game made by Oculus for PC VR, that's Oculus. And of course, Oculus are going to focus on their best-selling platform. It's money. 
But we have to look at titles like Half-Life Alex. Sure, we're not getting Half-Life Alex 2 right now, but that's for the simple reason that those things take time. They want to innovate, they want to change the game and upgrade it, make it better. Or they're waiting for their new headset, who knows. Sure, it's true. Oculus has sold more of its standalone device than any other PC VR headset ever. But let's be real, that's probably because of price. If VR-ready PCs and their headset counterparts were as cheap as the Oculus Quest, I doubt anybody would resist them. So while it's true that Oculus has sold thousands of a standalone device, we still have most of Steam VR using the Oculus Quest 2 which really shows you that this device isn't necessarily being bought for the fact that it's standalone. Sure, that's one of the factors, but I'm sure if people have the option to choose, they'd be using the Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset. They're simply getting it because it's cheap. However, I could be completely wrong there as well, you know, I'm just kind of speaking from what I think, but that's just my opinion, you know? My opinion could be completely wrong, so make sure to let me know down below. But no, I do not think PC VR is dead. I feel like all of this was very important to mention. A lot of people wonder why people say that PC VR is dead, and while I don't know whether I explained it to that 100% that people might want me to explain it to, I think I did a pretty good job, but I could be wrong, which is why I need you, the people that think that PCVR is dead or PCVR is dying, I want all of your guys' opinions down below. What do you think? Do you think PCVR is dead? Do you think that we will be getting those AAA PCVR titles? And most importantly, what do you play? PCVR? or Quest Standalone. Of course, I do realize a lot of people are gonna be playing Quest Standalone. A lot of people buy the Quest because it doesn't require a VR-ready PC, or any PC at all for that matter. So I do understand that. But with that whole segment out of the way, let's move on to some VR news. So yesterday, the Oculus Quest 2 version 32 update came out. And while it's not a huge, massive update, people don't like us using those, we are still going to take a look at the release notes, just for anybody that might be interested. So first of all, we've got some Oculus Move updates. They've updated daily move goals to weekly goals to better fit into your schedule. Your move calendar view will now show progress against your weekly goals. They've adjusted light, moderate, and high calorie to move minute targets. When you're done working out, you have the option to share your workout stats directly from Oculus. And if you haven't used Oculus Move yet, you can find it by selecting selecting the weird icon from your menu bar. Messenger, you don't have to choose between viewing your Oculus friends or your Facebook friends as they'll now show up under a single list called the People tab. They've added a new chat setting panel that allows you to view info about the chat thread and take additional actions in group threads. App gifting, you can now gift apps directly from inside your headset. You don't need to use your PC for that or your phone, which is actually really cool. This should have been there for quite some time, but all you do is you select a little hamburger menu or the don't menu and click click by for a friend. Media sync files. You can now automatically sync images and videos that you've captured in VR to your mobile device through the Oculus mobile app. Experimental multitasking. They've added new UI animations to multitasking to make certain actions appear smoother. That doesn't mean they're smoother. They're just appearing smoother. Permissions. They've improved and simplified the process for editing and updating permissions preferences by adding on and off toggles directly to the permissions tablet. And notifications. They've improved the utility of many in VR notifications by adding action buttons that allow you to take action directly from the notification itself. So overall, it's a pretty decent update. It seems like some bug fixes there, some smaller things, not really anything major. The HTC Vive Cosmos and Pro headsets have been discounted in a UK sale. So in case you guys are interested in getting yourself a Vive Cosmos or a Vive Pro, even though I've heard very interesting things about the Vive Cosmos, you might want to watch some reviews on that thing first. But the Vive Cosmos is now £549 instead of £699. And the Vive Pro Full Kit is now £969 instead of the £1,119 that it originally was. There's also some other discounts there, so you guys can check that out in case you are interested. Okay, so I got those two pieces of news there in at the very end. The main subject of this video was the death of PC VR, and I really want to hear your guys' opinion on this, because I feel like this is everywhere, and I'm getting a bunch of individual people's opinions, but I would really love to get like a collective group thought on this. And maybe I should do a poll on that. that, that would probably give me a better <laughs> a better view on it but people really wanted to hear my views on it people keep asking me what i think so i feel like this video is good on that especially since we didn't have much vr news today but i also have some very big news in regards to the giveaway that we made 
the giveaway that we were doing with Cat VR wasn't really thought through. I was told, hey, here, would you like to do the giveaway this way? And I was just like, sure, cool, that sounds good to me. And I didn't exactly think. The giveaway was done in a way where the three most liked comments would receive a Cat Loco S. That's unfair. So after consulting with my team, consulting with the Discord and a bunch of different community members, I decided it was a good idea to contact Cat VR and ask them to change the rules of the giveaway. So the rules of the giveaway have been changed. I've announced it on the Discord. I've announced it on YouTube community posts. Essentially what we've done now is one top comment will be chosen just for the sake of keeping at least some form of the original rule there. But the two others are going to be completely randomly chosen comments, giving everybody an equal chance to win. So now, if you guys posted a comment underneath that video, you have a chance of winning. So I hope you guys like that change that was done for the good of the community. I should have instantly seen that comment bots, like bots and things like that were going to get in the way of that. So I hope that's a change for the better and according to you. Okay, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. If you guys liked it, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. And if you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below. Make sure to join our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spice movies. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that doesn't put a huge annual party. And if you guys want to be new to your content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button. See you in my bell and see you in the next video. Peace.